Good morning, Pastor Brian here. Thank you so much for joining me today as we read a psalm a day. Today we're up to Psalm 144, and as we read the psalm together, I'll be reading from the Common English Bible Translation, and I invite you to to follow along in whatever translation you find the most meaningful for you today. And let's dive into our psalm for the day. Bless the Lord, my rock. Who taught my hands how to fight? Who taught my fingers how to do battle? God is my loyal one, my fortress, my place of safety, my rescuer, my shield, in whom I take refuge, and the one who subdues people before me. What are human beings, Lord, that you know them at all? What are human beings that you even consider them? Humans are like a puff of air. Their days go by like a shadow. Lord, part your skies and come down. Touch the mountains so they smoke. Flash lightning and scatter the enemy. Shoot your arrows and defeat them. Stretch out your hand from above. Rescue me and deliver me from deep water. From the power of strangers whose mouths speak lies and whose strong hand is a strong hand of deception. I will sing a new song to you, God. I will sing praises to you on a ten-stringed harp. To you, the one who gives saving help to rulers and who rescues his servant David from the evil sword. Rescue me and deliver me from the power of strangers whose mouths speak lies and whose strong hand is a strong hand of deception so that our sons can grow up fully in their youth like plants. So our daughters can be like pillars carved to decorate a palace so that our barns can be full, providing all kinds of food, so that our flocks can be in the thousands, even tens of thousands, in our fields, so that our cattle can be loaded with calves, so that there won't be any breach in the walls, no exile, no outcries in our streets. The people who have it like this are truly happy. The people whose God is the Lord are truly happy. It's the end of Psalm 144, and while there's some great parts of this psalm, some very, I believe, well-known parts to this psalm, the the part that actually kind of hit me, and I want to mention and bring out today, is the opening of the psalm, specifically verse 2. It talks about God is my loyal one, my fortress, my place of safety, my rescuer, my shield, in whom I take refuge, and the one who subdues people before me. What I want to, the reason why I want to point that out and why I want to talk about that is I was just wondering, you know, who, how would you describe God in relationship to how you interact and engage with God? And how you experience God. Maybe that's a better way of describing it. The psalmist here talks about it being a fortress, a place of safety, and a rescuer, a shield. And so I was just wondering, you know, how how would you see God? How would you describe God? Would you describe God as as your your savior, your salvation, and the one in whom you take refuge and trust? the one who protects your life. You know, oftentimes I think of God as as the one who who watches over all the different aspects of my life, who who guides me, who who desires the best for me. Uh, Doesn't mean I always listen and and follow that, but but that God is the one who, who looks out, who is my watch, And that is how I kind of feel God at this moment. is the one who's watching over me right now. So what did you hear? How might you answer those questions if you want to? Or what parts stuck out to you? What did you hear from this psalm? Again, there's some other parts that are much more well-known than that. And maybe that's what hit you. Whatever it was that struck you today, write it down. Share it with a friend. Share it with us. And as always, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and God bless.